Okay, here we're being asked to draw circuits that represent the following statements. So we've got two different problems that we want to solve. But before we do that, I want to go back and remind you the basic ideas about these circuits so that when you get to those actual problem solutions, you'll be ready for them. A circuit is represented by a drawing like this. It's a gate, and it's drawn as if the gate is open, but the gate can either open or close. It can be either opened or closed. If you take a basic circuit gate and put one next to the other in what is called in series side by side then that represents um, a conjunction it's the same as the logical statement and P and Q the way you can think of it is if you have a power source over here and a light bulb over here if both gates are closed the the power source can light the light bulb if either gate is open or if they're both open the light bulb will not light up. And that is the same behavior as an AND statement. It's like saying an AND is only true if it's both true. So it's like saying the light bulb will only light up if both gates are closed. So those are equivalent ways of thinking about it. And then with the an, uh, OR statement, you can think of that as a parallel, what's called a parallel circuit where the circuits are on top one on top of the other and if you think of that as a power source here with a light bulb here it only has to have one gate closed in order for the light bulb to light up the only way that the light bulb will not light up in fact is if both gates are open so that's sort of equivalent was well, exactly equivalent to an or statement where you're saying that uh, an or is only false if they're both false and that's like saying here the light bulb doesn't light up only when both gates are open Let's start with this first one. Notice that everything in here is an AND, so everything is in series. I've got one, two, three. So I'll draw a circuit gate to represent P. I'll draw a circuit gate to represent not Q. And I'll uh, draw a circuit gate to represent T. Labeling them properly. Everything is in series. So there we go. Very easy if you understand the basics. Now the second problem is somewhat more difficult because you have an or and an and. So everything's not going to be in series nor is everything going to be all in parallel. But what you do notice is the parenthetical compound statement over here is an AND. And it's ORed with P. So let's do the AND first. You've got the statement not Q. AND, which means it's in series, with the statement T. So you get something that looks like that. Now the part that I've drawn here represents the parenthetical part and it is ORed with P. OR is parallel. So now that has to be made in parallel with the P. Now it doesn't really matter if the P goes on top or bottom. That part of it really doesn't matter. But the point is I have a parallel circuit that I will label P that's parallel to this compound statement represented by this parenthetical part. So the parenthetical part is in series so it's uh, an AND and the P is ORed with it so that's an OR so completing your circuit you've got your power source over here if you want to think of it that way and your light bulb over here and that although a little more difficult maybe or requiring a little more thought is just the difference between an AND and an OR. An AND is going to be series, an OR is going to be parallel.